Hello and welcome from Create and Fly. I thought I'd share my uh, latest airport build. So this is a, a work in progress. Um, the actual airport you see at the beginning of this video, uh, I've actually ripped that up now and I decided I wanted more space to work with. So this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'm, the actual back scene there, uh, you can see I've just stuck that to the wall, but obviously when you shoot from a certain angle, um, it kind of looks more realistic. Um, there's actually one on the far wall as well, so if you look uh, over, I've positioned it there, so if you crouch down, you should in theory get a nice backdrop behind it. Uh, so let me give an example if I zoom on in. This is probably not going to focus very well here, but there you go. If you zoom on in, you get rid of the wall, and it gives you a nice kind of background effect, um, which I feel makes an image. and. Uh, any picture again it's just a plain wall just doesn't work for me so it has to have that kind of element of realism in the background so let's have a look at this um, layout that I'm currently working on it's a naught size so that's uh, 1189 millimeters by 841 um, gives me plenty of room to play with um, this is the cargo area here which I've decided to pop down in the bottom right hand corner enables me to get two seven threes in uh, and where that prime area is at the moment um, you can get a, a wide body in there. Uh, at the front you've got where the trucks would park. I've got to get obviously get trucks and probably put the graphics on. Uh, this little road here um, is where the cabin crew access. Uh, so obviously those minibuses park down there. The cabin crew go in through that building there into the crew area. Uh, and it's kind of just separate because it's fenced off. It's separate from the main uh, terminal. So if we look around there, so there's some buildings there for the cargo area. And then moving on to one of the wide body double jet bridge gates. Uh, obviously there's an A330 in there. Potentially get an A380 in there. I haven't actually got one, so I can't test it, but I imagine I can probably get an A380 in there. And those little lights, I've got to put all the uh, lights up yet. That's the job I need to do. And then we've got an angled, um, parking bay there um, and then another one there for a 737. The actual grass I've used is uh, from Model Railway Shop, uh, just basically stuck it down, cut it to size, stuck it down with double sided tape and the actual ground markings I've actually used vinyl, yellow car vinyl, um, which I've cut into strips and I'm basically laying by hand. Um, over here we have um, another gate, this is primarily for anything kind of up to a 757 size. Um, and then we've got room for a couple of 7.3s in there as well. Um, this side parking, another angled parking bay, um, currently got an ARJ190 in there, but it can actually fit a Boeing 757 uh, easily. The actual parking slot next to it there, there's probably going to be more regional aircraft, so in there I've got a CRJ700 at the moment. Uh, but if you put anything bigger than that in there, such as this uh, E190, it won't quite fit. So it's got to be kind of a Dash 8 or a ATR or, um, like I say, a CRJ, smaller aircraft. Uh, ground equipment there, there's an aircraft parked up. And this is an area I'm going to use for a hangar area. I'm just currently working on that hangar at the moment. Uh, but it does actually fit up to a 737, probably get a 7.5 in there as well. Um, I'm, I'm considering whether to actually build a bigger hangar uh, to house uh, wide bodies, but uh, I'm not sure on the, whether I've got enough space for that. Uh, to the left of that, it's, um, you can park aircraft there, and then in that little slot there, possibly remote parking if all the terminal parking bays are full. Okay, and got a bundle of lights there, which I do need to go around and just kind of glue into place. Uh, the actual terminal itself, um, I'm kind of relatively happy with that. It still looks a little bit, something missing from it. Obviously, I'm starting to put bushes and the grass is down there, obviously, but I kind of feel like it needs something else. Um, as you can see that the entrance to the car park there, I hand built that car park myself. And there's the exit. Um, and then obviously you've got a, a walkway from the, multi-story car park through to the hotel and then to the rear of the hotel you have the parking for hotel residents so there we have it this is where I'm at so far I basically 
started planning this. I ripped up the old airport last, sorry, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday just gone. Uh, I started planning out what I was going to do. Thursday night, I actually started designing the um, actual ground foil. Uh, took me about an hour or so to get that sorted. Sent it off to print. It arrived Saturday morning, and then I spent all of Saturday uh, putting this together. So all in all, probably a day or so to get this going to where it is now. Um, still a few more hours work left on it. Um, putting all the lights up and uh, obviously adding in various other things to bring it to life a bit more. Uh, obviously the ground markings, all the vinyl needs to be laid down there. And uh, I've got more GSE coming as well, which will again bring things to life. And uh, I can finally use this layout to show off my models and review them and give you tips and tricks on how you can achieve this look uh, with your model airport too. Uh, tune back in for more updates on this airport. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment.